to hear me but I am outside lovely mountains of North Carolina <laughs> but I'm outside so that you can see how this looks in the sunlight this is a butterfly sun catcher that I made from a kitchen whisk some wire and some beads um, there are a lot of steps to this it is not difficult to make there's just a lot of steps okay so bear with me and we will get through it Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. So, what you're going to need first is a wire whisk. I got this one at Walmart. It was like 88 cents. I'm sure you can find them at the Dollar Tree as well. My Dollar Tree, if they had them, they were out. <laughs> so, and I just picked the cheap ones. Why? Because the cheap ones are a lot more flimsy and they're a lot easier to work with when we're doing this. For your basic dragonfly, you're going to need a whisk and a few beads, gemstones, whatever you want to glue onto it. You're going to need some wire cutters. Um, you don't have to have jewelry making tools if you don't have them. That's fine. If you don't, uh, check in the description box down below and I'll also pin a comment to my Amazon shop where you can find a lot of these awesome tools and other things that you need to do this kind of stuff. Um, for an actual like sun catcher that I'm going to be doing, it's a little bit more labor intensive than just doing a basic dragonfly. And for that, you're going to need some chain. I got this at Joann's, but you can get it. Walmart carries it over in the craft section. You can get it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any place like that. Some floral wire. This came from the Dollar Tree and a handful of beads and decorations. I have a ton of those over here. And of course, your um your whisk for that as well. So first off, what we're going to do is take this label off. Why didn't take it off? Well, I wanted y'all to kind of see where it came from, so that's why I didn't take it off. All right. Some of these have shorter handles. Some have longer handles. It just depends on the look that you're going for. So if you can see, this is the very outer one. You're just going to grab that, and we're going to bend it down like that. Now the next one in line here, see the, the outer one there? We're just gonna grab that and bend that down. This is making our wings. All right, there's another one. The next outer one, just grab it and bend it down towards this one. This outer one here, grab it and bend that one down as well. Okay, this little doohickey right here, you can cut it off if you want to, but it can be a pain in the behind sometimes to cut off. So if you want to leave it, just leave it. All right, so that makes our wings. And this here, you can make a butterfly this way as well. If you want to make a butterfly, you can leave these for the antenna. If you don't want it on there, you can just trim it all the way down. I'm going to leave it. So first off, let's take with our wings... And I'm just kind of squishing them like that. See how it's big and round? I'm just kind of squishing it down towards the bottom here to kind of give it a little bit more shape. My light bulb up here is acting weird. It's been flickering around all morning. All right. Now I'm going to take it and twist it a little bit because, see, this is the body. And you need the wings to be going this way and this way. I might have to mess with that light bulb here in a second. I said, just a little bit labor intensive. It, it takes a little bit to do this. And I like to do it slowly. Just twist the wings around. See how that gives you the shape? And then you want them to kind of like lay flat, like I said, because this is going to be your body. So what you're doing is just twisting your wings. Okay. Now, I'm going to work on these wings for a minute, so you don't have to sit here watching me do this. And then when I come back, we're going to take care of this piece here and start decorating it. Okay, so I have all of my wings twisted around, and then I just kind of squished them on the ends here to kind of make them, you know, a little bit thinner. Now, if you're going to use this for like a butterfly, you could leave them, you know, bigger and rounder so that this part here is wider. You can do that if you want to. I won't mind to try to be kind of dragonfly looking. So what we're going to do with this part up here is take some wire cutters and we're just going to cut it in half like that. Okay, so now there's some antenna. You're not going to need all of this. Okay, this is a, a little <laughs> a little excess here. So, you know, let's just go ahead and 
cut off a little bit on the end like that let's see i can try to get this as even as possible cut that right there we'll clean that up later <laughs> okay so now you can leave it just like this stick it up like this you can curl the ends a little bit and then leave it like that if you want to take this and glue it to something or you know you can stick it to something in your garden if you want to but i want this to be a sun catcher to hang so what i'm going to do with the chain here is i'm going to cut a piece oh i don't know that looks good <laughs> it doesn't have to be any particular length and i want to tell you why i'm putting this chain here because the chain is going to give you something with which to hang um you know those little suction cups that you can get that has the hook on the end that works really well with this you can take that suction cup you know stick it to the glass and then this chain is going to give you something to use as a hanger so you're just going to take your chain and slip over your wires like that aha uh -huh. like this okay just slip it over like that now you can get like i said if you don't have like the jewelry making pliers you can use needle nose pliers you know whatever you have you know you don't have to go out and buy anything special just use whatever you have around the house why are you coming off i don't know all right so now i'm going to grab the end of this here and i'm just going to start turning it a little bit this can get tricky just going to turn it a little bit you know what kind of looks like a butterfly with the antenna <laughs> i might call it a butterfly who knows well, that looks, yeah, okay. I might leave it as a butterfly. Who knows? <laughs> when I sit down to make things sometimes, um, you know, it's like I have an idea in my head and then I'm like, ooh, I want to change it and make this out of it, you know? I do that quite often. You're going to have to grab this tightly here. All right, so we have spun that down a little bit. Looks like antenna. All right, come on now. Let's roll it down just a little bit more like i said little time intensive not difficult but it does take a little bit of time to do this that looks pretty good all right the chain see now when you go to hang it up your antenna catches the chain and now you have something to use as a hanger so anyway now that we might make a butterfly out of this little darling i might just open his wings back up okay so let's leave that like that now as far as the beads go like i said i have tons and tons of beads over here so let me look through some and pick the colors that i want and then i'll come back and show you what we're going to do with them. okay i have tons of green beads now mind you all of these came from walmart you know um joann's has them pretty much any craft store out there carries these big plastic beads but i like to get mine at walmart these huge green ones here all right i just cut a big long length of wire doesn't have to be any particular length. Like I said, you can leave it like this if you want to. You don't have to do anything else to it, but I want to. So I'm just taking the wire here and I threaded my bead onto it. Now let's go up here to the tip of the wing. I'm gonna try to zoom in so that y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna just gonna go up here to the tip of the wing and then I'm just gonna take the wire and I'm just wrapping it around the whisk now this is going to take you a minute okay you want to make sure that you keep your wire close together that it isn't buckling anywhere and i'm going to take this bead i think and have it just slightly overlap the very edge here you can see what i'm talking about it's going to kind of help to hold it steady there we go just continuously just wrapping 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 like this that looks cute all right and then what you can do is just start stringing on a bunch of different beads hold on like i said i have so many i have so many green beads all different shades beads like this why do i keep hitting the table um that color i have so many different other colors you know i might add some in 
But what you can do is you just start taking your other beads and putting it on your wire. And then just keep wrapping this around. You can start wrapping it back and forth, putting beads on that way. You do whatever you want to do with it. You can get very creative with this. These are so much fun to make because of that, you know, because of the creativity. And then once you get to the end of your wire, you just wrap it around really tightly and, you know, leave it. It'll be all right. It'll be all right by itself for a little bit. Where did my other bead go? Did I just not? Oh, there he goes. See, he's trying to escape. You can't escape because I'm trying to do things. All right. I just put that bead on there and it does not have to be perfect. You know, everything does not have to be perfect and uniform and get creative. Put beads all over the place. <laughs> so I think I'm going to zoom out. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to just put some more beads down the wings here. And I might come back in with a different color and kind of fill in a little bit of the middle there. So, like I said, let me work on this one wing and then I'll get some more beads and then come back and we'll, we'll do a little bit of fill in. Okay, so I believe I'm done with the outer beads here on this green part. And this is what we have so far. Now, I have a ton of blue. Uh, I have some pink. I don't want to put pink on here, I don't think. So, I think I'm just going to go with blue. Green and blue. So, you're going to get another piece of wire. I'm going to cut this one kind of longish that there all right so now we're going to take the end here and let's just fasten it somewhere i'm just going to go back up here to the top just fasten it on up see how i'm taking the short end of that wire and i'm just wrapping it around just wrapping it around just to secure it there we go all right so now i'm going to take a blue bead and string that on And then I'm just going to come over here and just wrap it around there. Maybe just one good time like that. Then we're going to come back. Let's pick a different blue bead. This one's darker. I got a bunch of different shades over here. Just string that on. And then we're going to come, I say right around there looks good. And then wrap it around couple times just to secure it and then bring it back up you can put more than one bead on there if you want to here's a square one let's put this a square one on there come on why are you doing this to me all right we'll just come down this way wrap it around a couple times and you're just gonna do that all the way down now when you get back up here i mean down here to the bottom you can do it again. You can go back up and put more beads on if you want to. So you just weave it back and forth, back and forth like that. Really simple. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do to the tail end here. We can't just leave its tail end hanging. All right. Wrap it around. These are really cute once you get them all finished. This is a little bit of work, but they are so pretty hanging in a window okay and then there's that like i said once you get down here to the bottom you can just start coming back up to the top putting in more beads you know what i might add in some pink i don't know <laughs> all right so let's move down here towards the bottom right here this loop we can definitely do something with that all right what i'm going to do is i have the chain here and then i have a jump ring and y'all probably know what jump rings are already they're just these if i can get it <laughs> they're just these little metal loops here you can get these at walmart over in the craft section near the jewelry making any craft store carries them jump rings so they come in little rings like that and you can see how one end is split you just want to grab it on both sides with some pliers and just gently twist it open so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put some chain on it and I'm going to cut a few pieces of chain at various different lengths because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put some beads on the end and then we're going to attach it to the tail here. So let's see. I think that first one can be right about there. That looks good. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do all this, okay? Now let's not lay that down yet. 
And let's hold that till we get this other piece put on. So you can see, I just put the chain on and I cut it about that long. Let's get another piece of chain and put on this. There we go. Now we wanna cut this chain here a little bit longer. Okay, about an, I don't know, about a good half inch to an inch longer. So we can stagger the length. Once I get the beads put on, this is gonna make more sense, okay? <laughs> now let's put on, if I can hold it. I put lotion on my hands a while ago. Not everything's slippery. All right, so now I'm gonna come down about another half inch to an inch and trim that. And now I think I'm gonna put on, how many is that, four? Let's do another one. Come down about another half inch to an inch and cut that. Is that right? That looks okay. Let's do five, because I like odd numbers. <laughs> All right, we're putting on chain number five here. And we're gonna cut that one even longer still, about half an inch to an inch longer. All right, so now we have our jump ring with all of our chains on it. I'm gonna take that and just loop it around this end right here. I'm hoping I don't drop it and make a mess. And then we're just gonna twist that until we fasten it off. See, I just twisted it close. All right, or you know what, if you want to, you can use a piece of the wire that we're using on the wings here. I wanna make sure that I get this nice and tight. Um, you can just take a piece of the wire and run it through the chain and then just wrap that around and around and around this a few times so that you know it doesn't fall off. You can do that as well. Whatever you wanna do. And now we have this hanging down and we're gonna attach some beads to the end of it here in a little bit. But right now I wanna work on this wing a little bit I'll get this one finished, and then when I come back, you can see what that looks like, and then I'll show you what we're going to do down here. Okay, so this is one wing, and I don't like this empty space right here, so I think I'm going to go back, and I might put some more wire here and add some more beads. But I went in and I added some pink, not a lot, because I don't like pink, and some blue. So I think I might put some blue. I might put more blue down here. Really? It's a matter of personal taste. You decorate your wings however you want, okay? And then whatever you do there, you're going to do on your other wings. Or, you know, you can do completely different colors on each wing, whatever you want to do. So now let's come down here to the bottom. And as you can see, I've already added a bead here. So when you hang this up, these are going to hang down. Now, if you watch my uh, jewelry making videos, you've already seen me do this. You might even have some of these tools and some of these supplies so that, you know, you don't have to go get anything else. But anyway, look at all the glue and paint on my hands today. It's it's pathetic. But anyway, this here is called a head pin. You can see it's got like that little flat head on it like that. And then you have your bead. So you're going to take this here and run it up through your bead. And that flat end stops the bead from coming all the way off. Okay. So then I like to rest that on my ring finger. And then just hold the bead in place like so. And now I have my wire cutters. And I'm going to cut down so that this part here, I'm going to say about half an inch or so, and cut that off. Now I have my round nose pliers here. I'm just going to grab it kind of down here right on top of the bead. And I'm going to bend it completely over like that. Now I flip my hand completely over this way to do this. I'm going to come back. See, this is why I like to let it rest on my ring finger. I'm trying to hold that in place. I just like to flip my hand over and then I'm just gonna grab this right here and then we're just going to roll it back to make a loop. Yes, you can get a tool to do this. I have one, but that tool is a little bit costly and if you don't make a lot of jewelry, there's really no need to purchase one. All right, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do is find the end of one of our chains here Oh gosh, my hands are so darn slippery because I was trying to clean off the paint and stuff a while ago and then that dried my skin out and then I put on lotion. Now everything's slippery. See, I just put the chain on just like that and now you're just going to take some pliers and just tighten that up. Like I said, all this is completely optional, okay? You don't have to put all this on. You make yours however you want. And see, that's going to hang down. And now I'm going to put beads on these three as well. 
just something to give it a little, you know, extra something, something. Because y'all know how I am about doing extra little something, somethings. Now, all this mess in here. Let's address that. Um, if you don't want that to show, you can take another bead. Give me a bead. The people are waiting. Let's just grab this. One. Gosh, that is an ugly color. You can just take some wire and put a big bead right here. You can glue it down. You know, you can use some E6000 and glue it down because this right here is kind of messy and it's not going to lay down flat. You can put that right there for the body. If you want to, you know, you decorate this however you want. So that is basically how you make these. Really easy, but for the video's sake, yeah, it was a lot of steps. So you just put the beads on all of your wings here. You can put something here in the center. And then all of this is totally optional. You know, you hang whatever you want to there, and then it'll be done. Of course, stick around to the end of the video, and you'll see a photo of the finished project. So anyway, if you would <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.